quiero potir morir bailando. Prefiero potir morir de amor. Mejor de So the next group is Elena and Los Fulanos. So Elena Lacaya, Brian Faro, and Jimena Violante are bringing, the, oh no, there's someone else who came. Oh crap, I didn't meet you, hi. You have a name too. You have two more people, and two drummer guys who I'm sure are gonna be awesome. So, <laughs> that's not fair. Okay, so uh, rockin', upbeat, bilingual, they are uh, just really making, the, making waves in the DC metro area. Their first album earned a whammy, which is the Washington Area Music Association nomination for Best Latin uh, Recording. And their second album, which was just recently released last year, was hailed as a, quote, bilingual folk album for the resistance by the Washington City Papers. So they are perfectly uh, uh, arranged to, uh, to take us out to the break here. Please welcome Elena and Los Fulanos. Prefiero potir morir bailando Quiero por ti morir de amor Mejor estar sola Morir bailando. Prefiero morir. 
divertirte y morir de amor Mejor estar sola y tranquila Ay, que en el engaño de tu susto Prefiero por ti morir bailando Prefiero por ti morir de amor Mejor dejar atrás sus mentiras Que maltratar este corazón Pabón, pam, pam, pabón Thank you all so much. It's so exciting to be here. We are Elena and Los Fulanos. We are a bilingual folk, Latin folk band based in Washington, D.C. And uh, we, that first song was in Spanish. <laughs> no, but I think, um, you know, I think I have a, a very uh, D.C. story for my music. I moved to D.C. to work on justice issues, um, like so many people do, and I ended up working for many years on immigration issues. I myself um, come from an immigrant family. I grew up between here and Nicaragua. And um, while I got to work on policy, um, I got to interact with a lot of immigrant families that had been separated um, due to our unjust and broken immigration system. And uh, one of the things that I, one of the things that I learned a lot about is just, um, how families are separated for years, and this was like way before it was kind of more in vogue to talk about separated families. And so I wrote this song um, kind of in honor of parents that come to the US in search of a better life for their kids, but in doing so, um, have to leave their kids behind, like I kind of ironically, and I just kind of try to get in the place of that. I don't have any kids of my own, but I do have parents, I have a mother, and I just thought to myself what it would it be like to be an immigrant mother who leaves her kid behind to give them a better life. So this one's called Amor Migrante, um, and it's in Spanish as well, but if you want to look up the lyrics, we do have um, a music video that it features an immigrant mother from Maryland, um, her story, she hasn't seen her son in 12 years. And so this one's for Rosario and all the undocumented mothers out there.
you all so much. Um, we're so excited to be here. Thank you all for coming out and supported, supporting such good causes. Um, we, you know, part of the reason that I became, um, I started doing bilingual music is because I felt that um, I was both fully American and fully immigrant. And so um, those two things, like, you know, part of the mission of what we show in this group and in our music and in our art or what we hope to show is that those two things are in contradiction to one another, um, being fully American and fully immigrant. So in the spirit of that, we're gonna do our very American side. Here's a country number for you, Greta. Great state. One, two, three. Oh, my mother always cared for Carolina. Said it always was a place she'd like to see. As I look to my reflection and her staring back at me, I know I'm going to Carolina in the spring. in the spring. all so much. You guys having a good evening so far? Yeah, great. Yes, ma'am. Um, cool. Well, we've gotten to the political part of our set. I knew you knew it was going to happen eventually. You're like, it's already been political. Yeah, sort of. But this one's a little more overt. Um, so I wrote this song. So one of the things that I did, so I used to work on policy stuff. And when I became a musician, 
Um, I was called upon to do a lot of like immigration rallies and different kinds of events, um, prayer vigils, that kind of thing. And one of the things that I realized or noticed throughout all that time is that, um, you know, we were singing a lot of songs, but most of the songs were from like the civil rights era, which is great. We stand on the shoulders of giants when it comes to music, um, justice music. But I really did feel like we needed to have something that was more updated, you know, that more about today. I mean, I'm all about singing all that stuff, but I was like, we should have another song. There has to be something else that needs to be something that's participatory and that people can kind of use. And um, uh, during the election season, I got, um, I kind of started having PTSD. I love being from Nicaragua, but um, being a woman there is not um, the easiest thing. I, it's part of the reason I live in the States is because I feel like I have more opportunities here as a woman. And so uh, during the election season, I just was like really taken by all of the ways in which women were treated in the media and by our unfortunate current president. And so, um, so I started writing this song and it just kind of became uh, my general justice song that uh, I now uh, play at rallies and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna ask you to sing with me. Are you all ready to sing? I heard some singing earlier. Yeah, keep clap for yourselves, go for it. Do it, do it intensely. So, um, so it's gonna be, uh, so it's gonna be in Spanish, but y'all can handle it. I can promise you. So, it's the words are a eso. So it's a space y eso eso. So it goes like this. I, you guys say a eso. I say ponle fin. So it goes like this. Ponle fin, pon fin, a eso. Oh wow, people know it already. Oh, this is so exciting. I don't have to teach it. All right, let's try it again. Ponle fin, pon fin, a eso. Ponle fin, pon fin. A eso, ponle fin, pon fin, a eso, ponle fin. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, my God, this is such a pleasant surprise. Okay, so then there's also another part at the very end where I say we, we go through a list of things to say, and it's like, no, to racism and all this stuff. The last one, do, does anybody know the last one before I give it away for all the, oh, some people do. Anybody else? We got like one person. Okay, cool. That's good. <laughs> But I'll give it away. Just because it's this occasion, I feel like y'all are going to want to sing it with me. So I'll be like, this is it. And we all say, no, a Donald Trump. <laughs> you with me? Yeah, easy, right? Okay, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff. And it's going to seem like the logical lesson. And, and they're going to help me as well. So try to keep, keep your eyes peeled. And I'll be like, this one. And you guys, no, a Donald Trump. You ready? Yeah. All right. So thanks so much for having us. This is our last song. We are Lena Los Fulanos, and come by and say hi to merch. Listo? Eso! Esta canción se la dedicamos a todos los que luchan por justicia y la paz en este país, en nuestros países y en el mundo entero. A las mujeres les dice que sean buenas, que se ajusten, que se aguanten. A las mujeres les dice que sean lindas, que sean dulces, no se amarquen. A los hombres les dice que sean firmes, que sean duros, que maltraten. Yo no puedo aceptar esas cosas, yo no suelo conformarme. Y'all ready? Here it comes. Y dice, ponle ping pong ping, a eso ponle ping pong ping, a eso ponle ping pong ping, a eso ponle ping pong ping. Como dice, ponle ping pong ping, a eso ponle ping pong ping, a eso ponle ping pong ping, a eso. pecadores por quererte bien casar y 
Inmigrantes viven con horror que los vengan a deportar. Y los negros de la policía que los suelen fácil matar. Los Fulanos, give it up. Thank you so much. Great job, you guys. Um, just a couple of quick comments before we take a break. Um, I would like to introduce our elected officials. If I could get the house lights for a minute, Charlie, after I keep texting you, asking you to take them down. Um, we do have some wonderful leaders in our community, and I see that our congressman, Jamie Raskin, is just walking in. <laughs> So Jamie will be with us uh, at the break. We're going to take about 15, 20-minute break, and then he'll give, uh, give a few words to kick us off for the second set. Uh, we have Tacoma Park Mayor Kate Stewart here. We have my friend and colleague, Senator Brian Feldman. Thank you so much for being here. We have the amazing District 3 County Council member who represents Rockville, Gaithersburg, and Leisure World and area, uh, Sydney Katz. Let's see. Um, let's see, is Delia Brooke Learman? Yes, Delia Brooke Learman is here. Thank you. Rising star from the city of Baltimore. Thank you for being here. And we have former elected officials, Rockville City Council member Tom Moore, former county council member David Skull. And who did I leave out? Because I was doing this kind of on the run. Did I leave anyone out? I said Tom Moore. I said, oh, yeah, he's waving. That's Tom. He's a wonderful leader for Rockville. Anyway, so um, I mentioned that Jamie is here. I just want to, now that he's here, I want to just recognize again our sponsors, our underwriters, and stuff who really helped make tonight feasibly financial, uh, financially feasible. And uh, Jamie Raskin was one of the generous folks. Uh, our senator, Chris Van Hollen, as well. Congressman David Trone, David Blair, Nancy Kopp, our state treasurer, Jeffrey Slavin, the mayor of Somerset, uh, Kathleen Matthews, the former Democratic Party chair, and, uh, and many others. So I just really want to acknowledge their generosity. Um, so at the break, I'm going to ask you to uh, consider buying CDs and merchandise to support these performers, these totally talented people. If you buy it here, not only will they get a bunch more money than if you buy it online, but every performer tonight is sending, is giving a percentage of their sales back into the causes, back into the sort of piggy bank for the causes. How awesome is that? So we really appreciate their generosity, as we do with our friends at Dawson's Market in Rockville Town Center. Please shop there, even if you don't live there, if you have meetings in Town Center anywhere in Rockville. 
um, they had to close for a little bit, and we worked really hard. Sydney Katz took the lead. I was proud to work with him. Tom Moore, so many of us stepped up and said, we have to have Dawson's back. For the third year, they're catering, and for the third year, they're giving a significant portion of all of the revenue, not just the proceeds, the revenues, tonight, back into the, back into the bank for the causes. So have a glass of wine, have a Maryland beer, have, have a wrap, have something. Uh, so please consider that. Um, also, there are inaugural mugs and pins and shot glasses that turn color if you put, uh, put cold beverages in there. So check those out and have a nice little souvenir. 100% of the funds for that goes in towards the causes. And the last thing I just want to remind you, if you haven't used your gold coins and given it to the nonprofit of your choice, then please be sure you do that. That is how we are going to apportion the funds. And if you've already given yours and you want to vote some more, you are allowed to do that. And you can buy a, a chocolate coin. I wouldn't recommend eating it. It's two years old. <laughs> we had it here two years ago. So it's really old Hanukkah guilt. But you can, you can buy it for 10 bucks and, uh, and offer that to the cause of your choice as well. And again, if you, uh, if you can't decide among the five, you can put it into the all, in, all of the above. Uh, bucket as well. I'll see you at the break. We'll come back in about 15 minutes to hear from our congressman and then hear two more phenomenal performers. Thanks very much. Prefiero <laughs> 